well, then, uh, as you know, I'm a teacher, although just an earth teacher, uh, who is trained uh, to be formal, uh, sort of methodical, in the earth sense, uh, when things are to be carried out. And uh, I have uh, transferred this formal and uh, literized way to the new presentation. Uh, perhaps I cannot help myself, but I think uh, uh, the messages that go out there in uh, some kind of haphazard way defeats what the new presentation is out to achieve. Uh, let's go down uh, memory lane a little. Uh, I see uh, uh, the methods of the cooperation, the time, uh, I don't know whether for formally, uh, formalism is good, but uh, well, uh, just if it's to achieve a lofty aim, I don't think it's bad. Uh, they had formal, formalized kind of training on how to present uh, what uh, they were going to, going out to do to the public. And to, to give, uh, in order to give the right message. Uh, here we don't have it. And uh, it is, it led to a kind of misunderstanding of the intent, the focus, and the, the purpose of the new presentation. Uh, among the Africans. The situation has changed now, but we've done a, a lot to, uh, to write things uh, that have reshaped uh, people's uh, understanding. But at the time, uh, it was really uh, chaotic. Uh, this uh, haphazardness led to a situation where in the Congo, People joined the new presentation because they were going to be rich in a very short time. Uh, because the leader, in, uh, I don't know whether, well, the leader, the, the new man himself, uh, was a millionaire. He's a millionaire. Was going to share his wealth in his projects. So, and I guess after afterwards there was national teeth when the this was not happening and has not happened to them. And I attribute this to maybe uh, lack of, uh, of uh, efficient grounding on what the new presentation and uh, the new man actually are. And uh, the, I, I reckon that this could happen anywhere where people do not need to discuss, get proper, uh, properly informed, and uh, maybe be refined in the presence of, of others. So what is your take on this, Dwayne? Okay, I'm trying to figure out uh, the idea here, but... Uh... You know, referring to uh, the monetary side of it, the money and all this. Uh, yes, I've been working on that for years, but I need agreement. And many people have had the opportunity, especially one, to step up and do something. And this was all lined up on the real side, etc. Uh, as an example, this one individual uh, with the richest family in the world. And uh, I've earned my way to figure out all this stuff to meet these people. Uh, through many means. Uh, and again, uh, the dark side, uh, the reptilians see what we're doing on the real side too, and so they block it. They continually block it to where, see the hardest thing is, is that when something is decided like in your mind, and that's on the real side, and then you go about to create it on the real side, and then you want to bring it through. It's like, you know, building a house as an example. You see it, 
your imagination and your mind. You get the plans ready, et cetera. But you want to build it in the physical sense. Well, uh, you go to the bank and the bank says, well, you have no collateral, so we can't give you the loan to build your house, as an example. So the house doesn't get built. You want to build the house. You tell everybody you're going to build the house. But all of a sudden, uh, to get the funds and the sources, because you don't have that part, you have the idea. Well, the bank says no. See, So again, it's something like that. And that is, is that, yes, uh, I've been with some of the best people in the world that know how to do this and I have certain things that can make it happen but the end result keeps coming that there is a uh, blockage and there is uh, uh, it takes agreement again and one of the people that had agreed even wrote a contract with me physically uh, decided no because they were just too afraid and they did not see the whole picture so you can't make people see it now they're on the real side and they don't even know where they're at they're still in their mind as to when they were here. And again, that's choice. So yeah, the misconception in the physical is, is that things are what they are. Learn to see them for what they are. In other words, it's like when you tell people about the chemtrails in the sky, they just say, oh, those are contrails, that's just vapor. Well, is that what it really is? And so again, the considerations that people have about the new presentation or just that it's their own considerations so they've really got to if they're really interested in seeing what it's all about with real guides uh they've really got to learn to see through the veil and especially <clears throat> their own personal ideas and that's the toughie because you know everybody's come from somewhere you know i remember in in the corporation people came from psychic things they came from religion and they brought that over. They brought the Jesus ideas. They brought their religious ideas, etc. They brought that with them because that's all they knew. And so where have all these people come from? When you're discussing anything from them, ask them their background. Ask them what, uh, what their life has led up till now. And you'll see that they're just dragging old ideas into this. And they want to assume it the same, like you've said in the past, where, you know, they're looking for the miracles, they're looking to get a better job or be richer or something like that, whatever. <clears throat> and uh, that's not the idea. That can happen as they become more aware, but uh, there's something else to be seen. So again, everyone needs to learn to see what is be being presented for what it really is and what it really relates to and then there's the personal side where people want certain things well that's fine and so again uh, the real guides can help on the real side they can set it up they can have you let's say if you want that loan uh, for to build that house they will set it up on the real side um, with the bankers or whatever do the best they can but they cannot make the bankers agree you see and so, again, with some of the things that I've done, which is a real James Bond adventure, gotten the agreement uh, in certain areas, even on the real side. But when it comes to the physical, when it filters down to the personal self, that becomes different. You know, just like, uh, you know, many people in the corporation, uh, corporation are being shown by the, uh, the, uh, the guides, Rebazar and all the boys, uh, what's really going on now with the new presentation. But you see, they're so emotionally attached in the personal sense that <clears throat> they don't want to listen. Sandy was one that did. Okay. She stepped up. Uh, she saw it on the real side and she investigated it. And so here she is because she took the risk. Well, others won't take the risk. They're saying no. And that's what it becomes it becomes no. And no matter what the boys do, they're not here to do things and convince people. What they do is they can set up situations and if there's agreement there, there is. Just like all of us here, there is agreement or there isn't and everybody has their own idea of it. But realistically, that's not it either. There's always more to it. That's the better part of this. See, and you also brought up the idea that, oh, okay, the corporation, you know, they're very formulated. I get it. You see, that's because Joni wants them to be very 
restricted. And so the new presentation isn't like that. It's kind of like getting that newspaper at your door every day. You never know what it's going to say because it's a new moment. And uh, the, the whole idea of the new presentation is not to formulate things and restrict people with this formula, but it is to present a reference to the true reality so that people become more aware and they can have their own adventures and then we can all share and support each other like a community that makes sense without really restricting each other. But then again, you're in the physical. There are restrictions here, but you recognize those things. But at the same time, you take the risk and you see that every moment is new and there's new possibilities. So that's why there's no rules and regulations because they're all restrictions. The birds don't have rules and regulations. They don't have a doctrine to go by. So we have the new presentation and the books and the writings and whatever myself as a reference here. It's a reference to this reality. So the idea is, let's see what we can do that makes sense in this crazy world that's on self-destruct. So yeah, there's, uh, this is the part that I like is that, yeah, you got to figure it out. And this is where we're at now. It is not, everything is not going to be figured out for you. This is, a, this is where you have to be, the real risk taker. You got to step up and figure it out. So you know, just like a soldier went to boot camp, he, he read the rule book, he did all the stuff, etc. Well, when he goes out there as the soldier in the wilderness, there's no rule book, there's no rules. You got to figure it out. You got to see if you're going to survive. And a lot of people don't because they're not paying attention. So uh, this is how it is too. And so the world, for the most part, is not paying attention to what we're doing. So are they going to survive this, what's taking place? No, they keep agreeing to a demise. So how are they going to survive recognizing their real awareness? So it's always new every moment. That's the best part to recognize. But each person has to do that for themselves. And yeah, that's, it's a big journey.